Tube, team keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video, a late night video. Uh, but this news just came out that the Raiders, they have officially uh, released Henry Ruggs. And we were hoping today that the biggest news that happened today would be some player got traded to another team and it was just something that we didn't expect. That's what we were hoping the biggest news would, that would come out today. Maybe the worst news that we were hoping for was, oh, man, uh, uh, some team that was losing and doing really bad made a good team even stronger. Maybe that, that, that was the worst thing we were hoping for today, but certainly nothing like this. You, you never want to hear about anything like this. You never want to uh, – you feel bad for the victims, too, because this was all – allegedly, because – Again, stuff got to get cleared out. They got to do the investigation, all that stuff. Uh, but allegedly, with, with with the alleged situation, it just looks all kinds of bad. And somebody ended up losing their life because allegedly Henry Ruggs, he, he was drunk. He was drunk. What they said is that he was drunk. It was like 3, 4 in the morning. They said that, that he was speeding. And again, allegedly, they said that allegedly he was speeding and he ran into this this girl. I think they said that she was either 19 or 22 years old. Either way, super young. And, and in regards, it don't even matter how old the person was. Allegedly, he was drinking. And that's not if that's what happened. That's that's not good at all. That's very uh, extremely irresponsible. And not to say that, hey, when, when we're all young, yeah, of course, we, we've all made bad decisions when we were younger. Some of us still make bad decisions, even though we get older. Bad decisions is a part of life. It's a learning process, but you never want to have to learn a lesson like this. And you should never have to learn a lesson like this. And this is one of those things where it's like, it's no excuse. If, if, you, if you that mess, if you're going to go drink, you're going to go out and go drink, okay, go out and go drink, but don't, don't mess somebody else up because of, because, oh, you know what, even though I'm drunk, I feel like, I, no, there's, there's Uber, there's Lyft, they got drivers 24-7, 24-7, around the clock, so it's like, and then they still got taxis too, so it's like, that. there's, there's no reason, like, for anything like this to happen, and, like, was he alone? I just, I know it's a lot to the story that maybe hasn't come out yet and that we don't know about. But no matter what happens for, with the rest of the story, that, that family, they're never going to get, uh, they're never going to get their daughter back. I don't know if she was a mom. I don't know if she was a sister, cousin, aunt, niece. What they, no matter what happens now, they can never get her back. Ever. They can't. And it's just, it's, it's sad, man. It's, it's a really, really sad situation uh, just for everybody involved. It's sad for the, for the victim because, again, somebody lost their life. And that family, they lost a family member because of somebody else's mistake. And it's not, it's not one of those mistakes where it's like, oh, oh oopsie-daisy, okay, it's just some, some. No, this is a mistake that it was avoidable. And it's oh, it's just bad, man. It's just all kinds of bad. And then for Henry Ruggs, it's bad for him because, again, allegedly, for what he allegedly did, and he was allegedly drunk, it, it's just, it's, it's, it's not a good look, man, at all. It's not a good look. And now he, I, I saw, I read something today that said he could face anywhere from 2 to 20 years two to 20 years and even though like you 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 feel so bad for the victim family because again no matter what happens no matter how much jail time he faces his nfl career gets taken away um it well not even taken away because i mean doing something like that you're giving it away you're giving it away. And obviously, the lives are much more important than an NFL career. But you, you, got, to, you got to know that he's pretty much, he's done. He's done. I just, I, I don't see him coming back from this, like, at all. I, I don't. And the Raiders, they must have realized that, too. Like, they, they, didn't, they didn't beat around the bush with this one. 
They did not waste much time at all. Um, this news came out today. I'm, I'm sure they were. Well, yeah, it was. They said it was like three or four in the morning uh, this morning, I believe. So the Raiders, they they moved swiftly with this, and they boom release them. The new news story comes out. More information comes out about it a couple of hours later, and boom, Raiders like, all right, you know what? No, we mm -mm, nope. We're not, we're not doing this. So, I mean, kudos to them for moving. Um, and, and yeah, they just drafted them, what, last year in the first round, I believe? Um, whew. Just, just, just crazy. So, I, I feel like it's important that in life that we all uh, try to learn lessons, um, even if it's from people that we don't even know. Don't drink and drive. I know you hear it all the time. You hit in school. You hit on the commercials and stuff. You hit on little TV shows. Don't drink and drive, but don't, don't drink and drive. Especially if you t don't drink and drive. Don't. So it's it's just because you may think, oh, I'm Superman. Yeah, I can hold my liquor. I'm this. Something. Don't drink and drive. It's not worth it. Call a friend if you also if you with a friend have them drive you Uber again Uber and Lyft are there for a reason man they're there for a reason worst case scenario say for instance you went somewhere alone and you driving leave your car there get a ride have somebody come pick some it's just not worth it team keep it clean we out man.